first of all, are you going to vote? Um, yes, I am going to vote. I don't vote. Why don't you vote, sir? Because I don't believe in any of the parties. Are you going to vote? Yes, once I decide what party I'm voting for. Because I don't even know, you know. Really and truly, I don't even have time to read the manifest. But I'm in two minds because uh, I don't really feel that my vote's going to make much of a difference. Most likely. Most likely. Why not 100%? Um, because, to be honest, I haven't really been following um, each um, party. Who are you voting for? Myself. Are uh, <laughs> you running? No. <laughs> what party are you running for? Myself. <laughs> yeah. No! I don't care. Nah. Why not? Because I ain't seen anyone today ain't really appealed to me, you know. I'm not going to vote because not one politician that's ever been in power has made a difference in my eyes. Excuse me, darling, are you going to vote? David Cam, the man. David Cam, the man, wow. I was, I was thinking maybe, maybe him. Yeah, I'll probably vote Labour again. I know, I'm not voting for Labour this year. Don't know. Labour. A conservative. Probably Labour. Or Liberal Democrats. I'm 80, 90% for Cameron, maybe Nick Clegg as well. Lib Dems this year. Yeah? Yeah, they haven't been in power for like a really long time. What would sway you to vote for someone? They need to stop that um, student loan stuff. They need to make uni free. <laughs> <laughs> Free uni. Yeah. They're putting a whole new generation into debt. I like the idea of liberalism, but it's it's too wishy-washy. It's not going to work. Okay. Labour's no, Labour's fucked us over. I mean, they 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 are champagne socialists. I didn't like uh, conservatives' policies on immigration, and I didn't like the fact that they were going to cut around forty thousand jobs. Uh, I just don't like David Cameron. I think he's like a little boy. You think uh, Labour has dealt, dealt well with the economic crisis in the past three years? Brown's, I think Gordon Brown's done really well. You know, Gordon Brown's had this chance, he didn't do well. Maybe it's time for somebody else to come in. The country's become a joke since Labour took over. Brown doesn't get a look in. No, at all, no. <laughs> He's done nothing since he got over anyway. <laughs> I think we'll just look at all the politicians that have been in power. What have they done? For well, just a minute about the election. Obama created a lot of excitement in America. Do you see that ever happening in the UK or even in France? I wish, I wish in France, but the thing is in France there is a big difference as well. It's like uh, culture was here is more open-minded, like America, I will say. Even if maybe for you, America is more open-minded than yeah. here. Obama was real change for America. It was a great step forward for, for everything, for, equality, for racial equality. I don't think we're going to have a person like that. You know, there's hope. I think so. I don't think Britain's able um, to elect a black prime minister, not for a while, not for a long time. And not in our lifetime? I think perhaps um, my great grandkids, maybe. Your great grandkids? <laughs> well, I don't know any black candidates who are running for any party anyway, <laughs> so I should run. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of going back. Yeah, like, don't, don't go tonight, stay here. Anything's possible. The politics is more about image now than. An actual change, yeah, yeah. They say they'll use the word change, 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 but I mean, it doesn't mean anything, does it? It's almost like they're selling, like a commodity, like it's a product. I care, but even if I voted, I don't think it would make a difference. And do you think attitudes like that are what keep the kind of corrupt politicians in? Not really, because they have a mind of their own. No matter, what, no matter what we say, no matter what we do, they have their mentality already, so whatever their plan is, they'll make it happen. It's necessary to vote, and young people need to vote because our voices to be heard. To be really real, the reason why I hate this politics stuff is because we all know that it's just a conspiracy and who really runs this show is not seen. These are just puppets. <laughs>